Good afternoon, fellow Plexers. I've been meaning to do a video about live TV and Plex, live TV and DVR. Up until a few months ago, I did not know that you do not need a Plex Pass for live TV. You only need it for the DVR side of things. So I've thrown together a little test um, Plex server running on, what am I running it on? Debian on an old i5 7th gen um, Dell micro PC in the basement. And I've connected it to some public domain media. And it's not my normal Plex account that has Plex Pass. It's signed into a secondary account just to show you the live TV feature. And then I'll bring my server over to show you the DVR side of it. So if you have an HD Home Run tuner or another Plex supported tuner, click on your settings. Click the Live TV and DVR option under the Manage section. And then click into set up Plex DVR. Now this automatically finds both network tuners. I have an older two tuner HD Home Run Extend and I have the newer combo that, that can receive both ATSC1 and ATSC3 stations. Plex does not support the ATS3 stations yet. And who knows what's going to happen with that because some markets are dropping the, the new type of TV broadcast until they get more things figured out with a standard. So I'm going to set up the better tuner, which is just set up device. And now you choose from antenna or cable. So if you have an older prime HD home run tuner that takes a cable card from your cable company, this is what you'd choose. And over the ear, like the um, 4K Flex or an older Extend, you would choose antenna. And you have to pick your country and your zip code. Now, I live in Syracuse, New York, and I'm on the west side in a suburb, but I have a Antennas Direct DB8E antenna that has a 60 or 75 mile range and it comes with four little squares two on each stack and each stack can be aimed direct differently so i aim one stack due east to utica and the other stack um, southeast to most of my towers so i'm not going to use my zip code i'm going to pick um canastota new york zip code to make sure i capture an area that will have both markets um, included. All right, so you'll see 2.1 is NBC on a Utica, and there's the station's call letters. So at this point, you just want to scan down. Now, if you're someplace where there might be multiple stations on 2.1, you might see them here. So that's not the case for this, but just scan through to make sure things are picked up correctly. I have no idea what 11.2 is or where it's coming from. So I'm just going to uncheck that. And I don't know where this is coming from, but I'll leave that checked. It seems like it's matching up. And I could look up these call letters and find out. This is my local PBS. Now let me just go through this. This is NBC on a Utica. 2.2 is CBS on a Utica, the CW on a Utica, and MeTV out of Utica. 3.1 is my local Syracuse NBC station, my local CW, Comet. This is my local CBS station, and then Charge and TBT. This is my local um, ABC station. And my antenna is UHF only, and sometime like five or six years ago, there was a video review on Amazon for my antenna. And um, after the noon news segment, there's something called Bridge Street Live on my local ABC station because there's, they're located on Bridge Street in East Syracuse. And there was a guy in Toronto doing a review of that antenna. 
and he scanned through my local Channel 9 station. So that convinced me to buy it. Um, Toronto to Syracuse on a good day was enough of a proof for me that that's a decent antenna. So this is ABC out of Utica. Um, PBS out of Syracuse. Utica has no PBS station. And this is Fox out of Utica. And then I have my Ion on all the sub-channels. And this is my Fox on a Syracuse. And down below you'll see the three ATSC 3.0 stations. And I could click it, but there's nothing to match it to because Plex doesn't support it. Plex's DVR features and live TV feature has gotten better. I use channels DVR on the side for local recording. So now I just hit continue. And Plex is going to build the guide data. And it gives me the opportunity to set up my other device if I want to. So this takes a little bit. And you can go in and view the guide, but there's nothing there yet. And Plex has also joined their um, live TV feature with a live TV, the fake live TV that Plex used to have separate. So these are all the Plex channels. And honestly, I don't know how to turn any of this off. And it, it doesn't bother me because it, it comes from, um, this first line comes from my server. So this is going to be however you've named your server. If you named your server MyPlex, that's what you'll see. Mine is named Debian Test. And I don't know if I can show a channel playing without getting a YouTube strike. But I'll just start it and stop it quickly. Well, I stopped that one too quick. So it does work, and you'll see the guide starting to fill in on some of the channels. And now, if I hovered over anything and I had a Plex Pass, you'd see the little red icon to record. So that's what we're going to switch to now. Let me bring my main server in. All right, you'll see I have both tuners set up, 49 channels from one. 47 from the other, 49 found on this one, 50 found, and it's basically the same thing. And then you've got some DVR setting options. You can prefer things in HD or HD only. You can replace lower resolution items, allow partial airings. Um, you can set up um, so many minutes to start before or to end after, and then you can do some post-processing things too. So now to find my tuner. Live TV. And it's the same deal. Now you see the name of my server and then you have all of, all of Plex's stuff that comes after. So if I went to Family Feud. If I hover over that, I can choose re to record that, and then there's options that pop up, um, and it gives you the option of which library to record it to. I have three TV show libraries. I created space for a DVR library to record to, and wherever you leave this last should be the default. Um, I haven't recorded a movie, so that was a bad thing to click on. So let's click on this, and you'll see it comes up the DVR library. I can manually change that anytime I want, and again, that's where it'll be the next time you go to use the feature. And you just create a library like you would for anything else. Just set aside a special folder wherever your storage is, and go to Manage Libraries. And just create the DVR library as long as you have a storage spot for it it's easy to create so I'll edit this and you're just pointing to the right folder so this will show some of my structure now I'm running Plex 
in a Docker container on an Unraid on a little Intel NUC without any storage. And the alias basically that points back to my storage on my Synology NAS is always Plex something media. So I'm looking for not Plex video media, Plex TV media. And these are my library options. This is my regular library for TV shows. This is my kids TV show library. This is just a storage folder for some things I have to go through. If I need to do a video showing subtitles, I have some TV shows in the public domain. I can create that library. And this is the one I created for the Plex DVR, just TV Plex DVR. And here's a test one. I'm not even sure what's in there. So it's really easy. You create your individual DVR library in that way. Your over-the-air recordings are not being mixed in with what I assume is your commercial free content that you've ripped from your own DVD or Blu-rays or that fell into your lap. So that's it. Thanks for watching. And again, I did not know this until recently. You can do live TV for free on Plex without a Plex Pass. Happy Plexing.